good morning. I am about to sit down and knit while I have my coffee really quick. I'm using my new mug. It's so cute. I'm excited. Um, I got through clue two yesterday, so I started up on clue three. So that's what I'm going to work on this morning. And I started watching Christy Glass. What is it? Show me your Rhineback sweater or tell me about your Rhineback sweater last night. I was watching it whenever it was live and gosh, or on premiere, I guess it wasn't live, but whenever it was premiered and that was so much fun, but I had to go because my husband needed me to help him with something. So I'm going to go finish watching that while I drink the rest of my coffee really quick and work on my, what is this thing called? The mystery shawl. Texture time. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So that's my plan. Puppies already have clean clothes on. I've already had a shower and done my makeup. I haven't really got dressed yet though, which is I don't know if that's really gonna happen today, honestly. I'm not going anywhere, so <laughs> probably just stay in comfy clothes. Um, and it's supposed to rain, too, so. Boo. So, anyways, that's what I'm up to. scully pantsuit and then he has a scully hoodie that has a mohawk so he is just really dressed funny today we're gonna go try to walk i don't know that it's gonna work because i think it might be raining it smells like snow this is crazy okay i've got to go bring my lemon tree in as soon as he and i get back yesterday um, there's 13 grams of protein per serving and there's two servings per container I actually had the other half of the pack last night and it's really good all right so here's my finished lunch it is a piece of sourdough bread I spread a layer of guacamole I cooked that Moroccan tofu up and then I just cut up a Roma tomato and put on top while I'm sitting here knitting, I was thinking it'd be fun to actually talk to you guys for a second. So, first off, I want to tell you what I did for section three on my texture time. Um, so, if you don't want to know anything about texture time, just skip ahead a few seconds because I want to tell you guys something and I want to show you something. So, this is section three. So, if you're knitting it, you're probably already on this section. But... What I did, I'm gonna spoil it real quick if you don't wanna know. All right, so Stephen West wanted you to use colors, contrasting colors two and three for this section three. Now, I had used color two for section two. That was not advised, I did that on my own because I thought it would look better. And then in this section, Basically, I was going to use my two darker colors, and that looked ridiculous, <laughs> so I frogged it. So, what I ended up doing, so just for reference, section one is this part with a brioche. It has all the colors. Section two is this, and it has my lightest color, which if you were actually following the instructions like it said, this should have been like a mohair section. I don't do mohair because it's too humid, so did this. Stringy bits. But you get the point. And then my main color is this um, rusty color, which is right here. So main color, and then it said to use whatever your, your contrasting color that had the highest contrast to your main color. So I picked this green, which was, I think it's called Weekender from Mad Tosh. I don't know for sure. Anyway, I picked that. Then for this section, you were supposed to use 
the other two colors you haven't used in this section. And the problem was I had this blue, which is really pretty blue. And then I had one that was really dark and I don't have the skein with me, so I can't show you, but it was this very, very dark one that had this. It has dark, like dark blue, it has red in it, it has a lot of like darker colors. And I started knitting that and I just felt like it was too high contrast for me personally from all this. So what I ended up doing I was opening up a whole entire skein of yarn <laughs> because I have a yarn shop and I can do that. So I ended up picking this. So this is the 750 from Train Track Fiber Designs. It's just a neutral color with black speckles, which I felt like that brought in the dark that I needed because I needed something to kind of tie in this middle section. Which way does this thing go? Hold on. All right. Yeah, I needed something that had some darker to tie in this to this over here, but I just felt like that if I did that really dark one, it was going to look ridiculous and this part wasn't going to look good. I've seen some that I think look so good and others I'm just like, I don't know. I don't, I feel like, I mean, it's personal preference completely. So it's not... It's not about like, no offense, but it's not about that. It's just personal preference and what you think will be wearable. So I felt it would be more wearable if I kind of made this be sort of a mix of this and this rather than just jumping straight to dark. So that's what I did. And I'm really happy with it. I love how this one color is mixing in there. I think it's really nice. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like squiggles and braids and then this part is just waves up here and it has the typical feather and fan situation up here and i think the reason that he did that for section three is because of course whenever it was released that was ryan back weekends section and so i think that was really good for travel knitting for people just because it's so easy it's like what a 10 it's like a 10-ish row repeat and it's very easy to memorize and there's not really you know you don't really have to pay attention with that um so i think that's why that is this section but now my dilemma <laughs> i i'm excited about this and i like it a lot and it is neutral so i think i'll get a lot of use out of it but my tecumseh is so calling my name right now like i want to go work on my tecumseh but at the same time, apparently, I don't have a competitive side to me at all, most of the time. Except for whenever you give me a deadline and there's other people doing it too, then I like want to at least be on time. I don't have to be the first one done. I might have to be like one of the first thousand done. But like, I just want to kind of be on time with everyone, you know, kind of roundabout, finish up around the time everyone else is finishing. Um, I don't want to be dead last. so. It's killing me in a way not to go work on Tecumseh because I want to, but at the same time, that little competitive part of me, I'm like, well, I just want to finish it so that I can be done with everyone else. And also, I don't want to see spoilers of Clue 4 until I'm ready to see Clue 4. And it's so hard scrolling on the internet and also on Instagram and stuff because people put up spoilers and they don't warn you. So you're like, you know, you don't... I, I'm almost afraid, up until yesterday, I was almost afraid to go on Instagram because I wasn't up to section three and I didn't want to see it. So right now I'm like, okay, cool, I can go on there. But then as soon as midnight hits and people start posting, you know, because I don't know what's going to be. It might be something very easy. I know last year with Speckle and Pop, the last little thing was basically... I want to say it was a bind off was clue four. I want to say clue four was like pick up and knit like I cord around the whole entire thing or something. It was like not really anything that took time. So people could finish it like that night basically if they were, you know, wanting to. So I'm almost afraid to go on 
Instagram after tonight because I don't want to see something I don't want to, you know, I don't want to see what I don't want to see. So anyway, this is what I'm doing and you have to go like way far with this one. And I don't know, he doesn't give you inches. He just tells you like rows. So it's like, um, Yeah, 100, 154 rows. I'm on row, uh, I'm on row 50 right now. So I have another 104, yeah, 104 rows. So it'll be, what, three times? Yeah, it'll be two times bigger than this. So that plus whatever. So what is that, three times? Anyway, whatever, it'll be bigger. And then you have to do it again on the other side. So, yeah, <laughs> basically, I don't know, I don't know, like, no, I started this last night at like 6 o'clock, so I've actually done really well, because it's 4, I think now, and I only knit on it for like, maybe 2 hours last night, about 30 minutes this morning, and then maybe collectively, maybe collectively like an hour today, so probably 3 hours of knitting, so anyways. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that and talk about it and basically just share what I'm feeling about it. Um, today's video is kind of light in content, so that's why you're getting me rambling about a project <laughs> for so long. But I think most of you who are watching this are knitters, so you totally understand. Um, leave a comment and let me know if you're knitting this too. I would love to know if anyone else is making it that's actually watching me. So I'm going to go work on this for a little while. I don't know that I'll have time to pop back in later on this afternoon. What I will do is before I go tonight, before I go to bed, I'll actually insert some footage of what I've got done so that you guys can see. So anyways, if I don't see you guys later, thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!